Welcome back to the Infinity Grind with Grandpa Chad. First game of the video. Looks like we don't find a particularly high-ranked lobby. There's one S0 player and a random E player. I have no idea how the E player snuck into this lobby, but... I mean, she's a redhead, so we'll give her a pass. 16, strong win to start off. We're gonna have to go down the fairway here. Just like how you would, uh kind of normally play this hole. We can't take the shortcut off to the right there, which is fine. I think this actually benefits me quite a lot because I think players of lesser rank would struggle with this wind. So that gives me a bit of an advantage because at least I kind of know roughly what to do. Nice shot. And how far I need to go down the fairway to uh, make it through the trees there, just like I did. Although... Kind of left it short, but you know what? With back right pin position, uh, an 18-footer should be fine. Just a little bit like left edge kind of vibes. And good birdie to start. Honestly, like, 16 with that wind is actually tricky, so I will take it. And, yeah, okay. So I was the only one to birdie there, which means the poor... or <laughs> The poor. The less ranked players in the lobby... Did struggle on that hole. I don't know why I said poor. They, I mean, I guess they are poor in rank, so maybe it, it was a fine word choice. Anyway, on to 16. Looks like we're gonna have not good wind here. Yeah, more. Oh no, we can still we can still make it. Nice. Over to the island on the left, which will give us a chance to hit the green in two. Uh. Ooh, wow, okay, I, I played that way too close there. I don't know why I adjusted so much for the wind. I'm going to land in the rough. I'll still be able to make it off the green, but might have to go spoon here, which... Yeah, I will. So, going to be a little bit of a more difficult approach. Oops, now that's going to be even worse. Mm, any chance I sink this? 46.9 feet? I would say, yeah, that's 20, nah, 30% chance. Bang. Nice long putt. So I'll be at 24. I don't know if there's going to be any other eagles rolling in. I'm not particularly worried, though, about... Losing this game. It's a nice warm-up, I would say, actually. Just to get into the rhythm before we hopefully find some higher-ranked players for the rest of the lobby. So there were two eagles there. One for myself, one from Bia. Which shoots Bia from 8th all the way up to 2nd, so well done. Also saying goodbye to our E-ranked friend. Nice shot. Now, I'm not entirely sure why the wind has been so strong. Usually, like, the strength of the wind is, for the most part, directly correlated with the average rank of the lobby. Nice shot. And we've been getting pink wind the entire time. And by pink wind, I just mean, like, the color of the arrow, the wind arrow. It's either blue, yellow, or pink. Pink is obviously strong. Hasn't really been a problem though. I haven't made any mistakes so far this game. Still on 34 after three holes. And on to two with more pink wind. Dude, this is insane. Poor players in the lobby who are like really low ranked. Just absolutely fighting for their lives out here on Spoko Square. That is going to be a, another fine approach. 16 footer. Yeah, good birdie. Can we get some blue wind next hole, please, Nintendo? Just for one. One out of five holes in this game. Let me see, though. I'll maintain a seven-point lead going into the final. Not too shabby. Four players through. 
And we're going to finish on hole 10. And we do. We do get blue wind. Nice shot. 11 mile an hour, which is actually the maximum... Is it? I think it might be the maximum blue wind that you can get, which is kind of troll on Nintendo's behalf. But it's kind of flat, so I wonder if there's a chance for a chip and eagle here. Let me see the pin position back. So I'm going to have to just adjust like half a square to the right here. Maybe a full square? I'm not sure. That might be too much. And, oh no, that was uh, not even close. I'm like a full square to the left there. Okay, there it is though. 54 point performance for the first game of the match. It's not too shabby. I don't know how much rank we're going to gain here. It's probably not going to be a lot. I mean, we'll take a look. Yeah, just a smidge. That's fine though. We'll jump into another game, try to find some higher ranked players, and I will see you guys there. Game number two. We are able to find an S8 player, a couple, three other lower ranked S players, actually. And a uh, couple other lower ranked players. Cool. So a little more rank up for grabs here, which is nice. If I can uh, secure a win, that should be a bit more than the last game. Starting on 17 here. At mo bruh. Max wind, are you serious? Unbelievable. I'll have to go so... F and I'm going to go full power here on the driver. Because, uh... With the headwind just a little bit, it, I should actually land on the green. Nice shot. Uh, okay. A launch roll, that's a little bit unfortunate. 14 yards off on the fairway. It, sh it shouldn't be too difficult of a chip, actually, because the wind is fairly flat. Ooh, and okay, it wasn't, it was not flat enough. Okay, so starting off with a par here for this game, also going to be facing a little bit of adversity right off the bat. I'm already three points down to a B plus player, so I'm going to have to work pretty hard to make sure I don't lose. I'm definitely not too worried here. We got 18 yellow wind this time. And, uh... Again, very easy to take the shortcut, which will be nice. I can get onto the green in two. Had a nice long putt last 18 to uh, sink the eagle. Let's see if I can get another eagle here. What's the pin, actually? Back, right, okay. Should be fine. Maybe a little... Three and a half dots on a three iron, maybe? Ooh, and I'm just going to be a little bit too far to the right. Not a bad approach, though. Eight and, a, eight and a half feet. That might actually put me in first. We'll see what Colin P gets here. And my prediction came true. I'm going to be surpassing Colin P into first, tied with Judica. It's like Judas coming back in 2024, bro. Judica? Juditka. All right, enough of that, though. Uh, Y'all can name your kids whatever you want. Let's see. Ooh, is a wedge going to be perfect here? Perfect power. Wedge carries 55 yards, and we were 60. Ah, shoot. Actually, no. If I had gotten perfect aim there, I would have hit the pin or bounced over the hole, so that was kind of a bad shot. All good, though. I'll put this in for birdie, and I'll probably still be tied for first with Judas. And yes, still going to be tied for first, and still only one point out with Cole and P, so he's still kind of in the game. Let's see what we can do, though, moving into hole two. There's going to be two holes remaining, and I don't, I don't know. I mean, it would be nice to get the outright win here, but it might go to a closest to pin. Ooh, let's do just a, a five iron with spin, because... I don't think full seven would be enough. Normally, you I think you would go full power seven iron with backspin for front right pin position, but because we had two mile an hour headwind, I went five there and it wasn't quite enough spin. Nice 
Okay, there it is. Going through to the final. Tied on 41. Only one up on P. And what, what that means is it's anyone's game. If anyone gets a hole in one here on hole four, they would just win. Also, if two of us get par by chance and one and one gets a birdie, that one would win. So, let's see. Last chance. Got to make sure at the very least I par this. going to be a really tricky hole in one. I will do three iron though here. Okay, could be good actually. Ooh, I swear. I thought that was gonna one bounce dunk, dude. I actually thought I was gonna land right in the hole. Darn, that was really, it was close. Not a bad attempt at the hole in one win. But it looks like three birdies are rolling in. So we are gonna be going off to a closest pin. There it is, 51, 51, 50. And what do we got, hole 11? Are we on the tee box or not? Where are we? Oh, we're uh, way off in the forest. How fitting to give us purple max wind, or pink, magenta, whatever you want to call it. Dude, I am the worst wind adjuster in the history of wind it's actually kind of unbelievable i was what, what was i 20 feet like so far to the right all right cavanell there not gonna lie second place how much am i gonna lose here bruh pretty much just wiped out my entire game from last win let's jump into game number three and i will see you there game number three we get the rematch against Judas, so I gotta be on the top of my game here. Ain't no way I'm losing twice in a row. And we also find another S9 player, okay, W. So, Chad, Judas, W, all high ranked S players gonna be battling it out here for the third game. A little bit more rank up for grabs here, so, you know, a win wouldn't, it wouldn't be that bad actually for the rank department. Classic, pink wind, no surprise there. We'll do spoon here. I like to do spoon on on right side pin position on this hole. You want two dots of power with zero wind when pins on the right middle. Unfortunately, I didn't quite get it right there. And let's take a look here. Three birdies, okay, so Judas, Daddy-o, Chad, tied on first. Nice shot. Bro, what is with this wind? Yikes, that's not good. That was a really bad approach. I think I'm gonna putt this though. It looks pretty flat. Nice approach. All right, well, if everyone got a par, that's completely fine because I'll still be tied for first. And no, actually there was one birdie, okay. So I'm dropping down to a three point deficit again for the second game in the row. However, I did make a comeback last game. I think I can do it again here. We got hole eight, pins on the right. If you're going spoon with zero wind, you definitely want like 2.2 dots of power. I'll do a tad bit more because of the wind here. Just a tad bit to the left of a wind adjustment. Bounce, ooh, that looks really good. Bang. Hole eight, hole in one, and a Judas rage quit. Let's absolutely go. Putting myself back and first on 
31. On to hole 9, just need to play or perform normally, I think, to hold out the win. No more pars like I got on, uh, wait, I forget. Oh, hole 15. Bruh, and more max wind. I don't know what the heck is wrong with the wind today. It's weird because it normally you normally don't get this this crazy wind if uh, the lobby average rank isn't that good, but it's been all right. I think it does benefit me more when I'm in a lower ranked lobby because I definitely have more experience in stronger wins than someone who's an A player. So I'm not. I shouldn't be complaining. Max crosswind though for my approach shot here. Alright, well, if everyone struggled on that hole, it's completely fine. Uh, seven pars there. It's gonna leave me still in first. Saying goodbye to four players. Only one point up on second, so it is still anyone's game. It's hole one, and the wind doesn't actually look too strong, so I would say there is a chance at a chip and eagle. We'll have to take a look at the exact wind and pin position. All right, let's see if we can line this up. If I can get a chip and eagle here, that would absolutely secure the win. If I get a birdie, it still leaves the door open for the guy in second to get a uh, eagle. So, nice shot. And I am going to land just a few feet to the left there. And it is going to be a 48 point performance, only winning by one point, so very unfortunate for the guy in second. Not the best way to win or lose, but there were a couple high S ranked players in that lobby, so it should be an okay amount of rank. And it is an okay amount of rank. If you enjoyed this video, do hit the like button, and I will see you guys in the next video.